is one of the biggest gatherings of the Anti-Corruption Commission that brings together leaders in various positions of authority to discuss the fight against corruption in the country. Prime Minister Sarak Wangelo Madila believes the fight should include both those in government and those outside who sometimes offer incentives that induce government operatives to succumb to temptations to act corruptly. It also should include other forms of corruption, such as tax evasion and avoidance, as we have heard, and the illicit flows of ill-gotten funds, which rob developing nations, including Namibia, of badly needed resources to eradicate poverty. Collective action is needed since corruption enriches the few, but weakens the social fabric, the economy, and the state. Government has decided to make asset disclosure by public office bearers and civil servants mandatory. Civil servants will also be required to declare their business interests under the revised system. The Premier believes the declaration of assets can help prevent abuse of power, reduce corruption and increase public accountability. So the lifting of the moratorium was not to give a, an open card to civil servants to do whatever they please. So the, we have not only strengthened the system of their accounting for their interests, but also to put in place mechanisms to evaluate the declarations that they make and monitor to ensure that there is no conflict of interest. Minister for Economic Planning Tom Arendo is concerned about perception of corruption, saying it is worse when one is perceived to be corrupt without any substantiated evidence. I therefore conclude by calling upon all the Namibians to support the ACC and in, efforts, in its efforts to carry out its function and look forward to a corrupt-free Namibia, an environment where corruption is in any form is detested by all of us. And I thank you. Various topics are lined up for discussion during the three days which include the role of media in combating corruption.